Hey guys, what's up? So this is an interesting book that I've been like looking at. I got this a while ago, um, years ago actually, and it's just been on my shelf and I've been kind of looking at it. It's The Art and Making of Star Wars The Old Republic and I got it because I love art books and I love the art of whatever it is. It's always really, really good because whatever it is, it takes, when they have artists involved in it, it's always interesting to see the artwork of something that's really, really very, very artsy and made by artists and is science fiction, you know? And that's what I like about that. So I kind of got this. I was just kind of curious about it. And I thought this was like pretty cool. And it's Star Wars, which is like pretty cool, I guess. Um, and so what's interesting about like this this art of this this kind of Star Wars is this is the Old Republic, which I actually thought it was Knights of the Old Republic, which was the Xbox video game, but it's not. This is the massive multiplayer online video game. This is the MMO. And, um, and so what's interesting about that is they have the art of that. So whenever they have an MMO, they always put the latest artwork in it, whereas if it was just the art of the Xbox video game, it would have been already, you know, the CGI, the computer generated artwork would have been over 10 years old. And this is brand new and modern. I only got this a few years ago and it's pretty cool. And so there's a lot of really cool art in here that I've been seeing. I'm just gonna take this cover off because it's just gonna get in the way. Um, but there's a lot of really cool art in here and I'm not like 100%, I'm not like into this game. I never got into the MMO. Um, just because I just never got into them, you know, uh, on the one hand, I hear how addictive they are, how like people get into those MMOs, um, like, uh, whatever it is, like the guild or, you know, those things, you know, like, you know, they're into, um, these fantasy MMOs where they just like play 10 hours a day every day and they're like hooked on it. And I just like, I, I, keep, I, I heard that and it just made me never want to try those, even though I know how great they are and everyone like whoever plays them really understands them and loves them. I'll play a regular video game, but I'm not gonna play like MMO, but this is the MMO artwork. And if it's art, got like good artwork, I'm all about it. I just wanna show you some of the stuff in here. It's pretty cool. And it's all, sci it's all, it's science fiction, but it's all Star Wars, you know? So you got that, those freaking, that big triangular starship. We got like all the battle scenes in the sky. This is like they're over a planet. I really love, the thing about, I love about this kind of thing is the uh, the space battles, you know, between the little fighter ships and stuff. That is just so cool, like little little ships. And, you know, if, it's interesting that if it, like, has that in the game, I might actually <clears throat> try it out. Because, I okay, I did try out, I have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Xbox, and I tried playing it, and I didn't like the turn-based combat. Uh, it was partially... It was a weird combat thing because it was like everyone loved it and they said it was amazing so I should give it more of a chance but it, it you know it had this combat which was like partly real time partly turn based and I couldn't figure out whether it was turn based or real time it was kind of both and because of its like turn based elements in the combat I just couldn't get into it uh, but then you know I really should actually probably give it more of a shot because everyone says how amazing that game is. Yeah. But then not every sci-fi game is something I like. Everyone said how great Mass Effect was and I couldn't get into it. You know, not even like Mass Effect 2, which I just don't give it a chance because I just think it's too much of a thing. This is a some kind of weird space station. Here's a di Oh, that, this is cool. Okay. This looks like the dish that'll like send a laser beam out or it could be just a radar dish. But it's interesting how like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, they still have radar dishes like this these like to send a signal you know like even though that's an earth technology like how do they know earth how do they have earth technology you know they don't um i did flip through this book and it's got some really cool stuff in here um let me see i'll just show you like just whatever it pops up um just a lot of cool space battles and there's like you know outfits and different um alien races and different like alien space people and whatever it's pretty cool um and it's interesting like this is also oh here we go here this is like deep into sith territory now that's pretty cool now that is badass 
it's nice that they're making a game out of it. And th that look at the suit on that guy. He's just like I can't tell if he's like a robot or a person. But then you know, like it's it's sci-fi. So like you know, they're part robot, part person. They're like cyborg people, cyborgs, uh, cyborg. Uh, I don't know some you know cyborg characters. It's some cool stuff in here. Like here's some interesting, really original Star Wars. Uh, character or whatever like that he's really original he's not been in and I, I haven't seen him in any of the films or anything like that really original here's uh, more about and this one this is interesting because this page is about Knights of the Old Republic right there and uh, they've got this guy so I, I think a lot of the Old Republic MMO has a lot some elements of Knights of the Old Republic which that was the the game that came out that everyone just loved and I guess because so many people love the game, they made the Old Republic MMO. They, they thought it was going to be successful. But I'm just going to show, like, the highlights of this book and all the highlights of the art. Because there's a lot of, like, art in here. There's a lot of, like, sketches and whatever. I just want to show you the finished pieces because those are, like, the only things worth actually watching. There's some pretty cool characters there. You know, you got your, like, lightsaber. I think the lightsaber is a really cool invention of you know sci-fi because it's it's sort of like a futuristic sword you know it's like it's a laser sword basically you know here's more of this art and what what you could tell about this art and this art book is all of the arts all of the paintings and the pictures are done by different artists you know you could tell that um you know everything's like shaking up yeah and you could kind of like tell that like it's done by different artists um, because just the, the style of the art just keeps changing and whatever it is. Here's some very interesting, look at, th there's just a suit. And they show you how they went from sketch to finished painting here where, you know, they kind of like started with a sketch and they made a full drawn out like painted suit, some kind of space suit, you know, done for and I, I think that's the thing about, you know, this kind of art, is, and I mean, Star Wars, that it's, you know, it's got a lot of spacesuits. Here's like an alien, different versions of him, but you could see like, that's like the alien at the, um, in the cantina, you know, dun, 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 right? You know that one? <laughs> um, it's that, it's that cantina alien and whatever. Uh, let me see, wait. And there's just like a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Some of this, it, this is an interesting book because sometimes some pages have artwork and other pages are just text and you read it. But that's cool. That's pretty cool because it is art and making of in the book. So it's not just art. Like if it was just art, it would just have art in it. But making of is also very, very interesting because they talk about the CGI and, and, you know, how they came up with the ideas. Look at this one. This one looks like the girl from the fifth element with the blue sort of like, not really hair, but the blue woman that, that was the opera singer on uh, Fl Flotsam Paradise or something like that, Flotsam Paradise. And she's got like that hair thing, like that, like, I don't know, that slug hair where it looks like a slug coming out of her head. Not actually hair, it's like more of like a, a tentacle or something. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Just a sketch of a Sith uh, fighting. And then there's like this stuff, which is like Wookiees, you know. Wookiees is also an interesting, you know, I always think of Wookiees as like, they're sort of like the, the Sasquatch of space. <laughs> it's like, they look like the Sasquatch. Like they look like that, that picture of that guy in the Sasquatch suit walking in the, in the forest that people are like, that's a real Sasquatch. It's like, no, wait, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, that's going to survive a guy. Well, you know, it, it, it's just such a fake Sasquatch. It's very ridiculous. You know, but there's just a lot of cool um, design of like the helmet and everything. Like there's a lot of cool design like this one. And it's not just storm stormtroopers. It's like really cool art of you know, like space people with like a, a laser cannon, or whatever. A Sith trooper is what they call it. And yeah, it's interesting. Like in the book, it's got a lot of sketches, a lot of sketches where like 
you know, basically it's very, really easy to come up with a sketch like this and do a lot of these until like your 20th sketch, you get a better idea of what looks good and what, what, what you had in mind. Because like it, when you have something in mind that you want to draw, you draw it and it doesn't always come out everything that you intended it to be. And so in order to do that, in order to put your intentions into the painting, you draw it again and again and again, just like they did here, which they draw like a bunch of these so that, you know, by the time you did your 10th or 20th sketch, by then it's, it's going to evolve into something that's a little bit more you've had, like that you've had in mind, or you get better ideas as you do it. And therefore it just improves every sketch. So if you just do 20 sketches, and try to improve from the first sketch to the second to the third, you know, you're gonna get a lot more, a better sketch on your 20th sketch than like on your first or second sketch or like even on your 10th sketch. That's interesting. Here's some of the, this is interesting because this looks more of like the, the cartoony aspect of it. Sort of like the, um, that looks like Anakin and whatever, but it's interesting how like the whole theory of this movie is that there's this like evil force that tries to suck people into believing it and uh once it got you they just dis degrade into like everything just mess gets messed up for them you know they just like they turn into these like old emperor people with lightning bolts coming out of their fingers <laughs> you know um so yeah i'm just gonna try to flip through this and oh there's some really good stuff here that's pretty cool that's pretty freaking cool mm, there's like this one so if you like space battles this is the artwork to look at this is the artwork to like check out let me just like oh look at this one damn wookies and you know like space fighters and whatever just so cool it, it's just a good action sci-fi movies with the way i see it you know with, with a decent story it had to have some kind of story in it you know the force was just part of the whole story of uh keeps you interested in what's happening with the characters you know wow that's pretty cool i like like curvy armor you know like yeah <laughs> definitely not like boxy choppy armor it's like it actually looks good on people it looks good on girls <laughs> curvy armor you know because i mean like look i mean stormtroopers that armor is not curvy <laughs> oh look at this one see that's what happens with uh you turn into a sith man <laughs> when you like Join the dark side. You turn and, and your lightsaber turns red instead of like green or blue. <laughs> but you know what? Don't the freaking Sith look cool? Like, that's the thing about like, star, you know, the Star Wars like toys that came out. They looked like the, the all of the Empire stuff looked really cool, and the Rebel stuff. Look, I mean, was was okay, but the Empire Empire stuff looked even looked better than the than the Rebel stuff. You know, it, they're just like their their ships look cool, their outfits looked cool. Yeah, you know, it's just there's also a lot of like they kind of break it down in this book with to all of the uh, the artwork into this thing. God, I'm gonna try to just like show the highlights. I'm just gonna skip over anything that. Oh, this one's alright. Hard to tell if I should show it or not because it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of it has to do with the character design. A lot of it has to do, oh, check this out. It's like a, Han, like a female Han Solo character, right? You got the different guns, sort of like a mercenary or whatever, like just a space trooper or a space cowboy, whatever it is they call it. Um, and just interesting, more interesting costumes and weapons. That's pretty cool. And, uh, a lot of like how they came up with their ideas and whatever. Basically, they came up. Oh, here's a good one. Another curvy, curvy space uh, spacesuit, which is cool. I like curvy spacesuits because you know, like, there's a woman in it. You know, it's not like um, Samus from that video game where you don't know she's a woman until she takes off her helmet and it's a girl, and people are like, oh my god, it's Samus. 
Um, let's see. This is an interesting uh, sketch. As you can see here, it's just like a complete sketch. And you know, that's how they figure out like how the armor has to look, what should look like, or like the outfit should look like. They do a bunch of sketches of it, and you can see like some of the evil characters are in here. That's pretty cool. Some evil characters. Um, there's a really lot of like um, concentration of like evil characters. It does, I mean, this is artwork that's totally inspired by the movie. Um, and you know, it would be cool if they just like, just evolved it to the next stage, the next step, you know, but it's just very, very, they keep it close to their whole like lore of how they want things to look, like how the evil people look and how the good side looks and whatever. They have different, you know, different things that they, they look different, you know, here's an interesting one. Sort of like a cantina. That's pretty cool. Holographic dancers, and you know, you can see there's nobody in here, so they're not doing a lot of business today. But it is a cool bar. I'd love to. <laughs> that bar looks amazing. I'd love to go to that bar. Oh, let me show you the entire. The other page has more also. That's the entire one. The entire picture. Such a cool thing. That does look like the uh, the uh, bar from Mass Effect. The one thing about Mass Effect, even though I, I couldn't get into the game, is the artwork was beautiful. Like, it's a beautiful looking game. It's just that it's, I couldn't care less about their story, and there wasn't enough action in it. Um, some, some more, like, architecture. Some crazy, like, downward cone looking... I don't know what that is. Here's more uh, buildings and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Everything in here is, like, dark and cool and everything. See what else is there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I want to show everything, but it's such a big book. <laughs> oh wow, what the hell? Okay, here's some interesting stuff. Job of the Hut, some kind of crazy city scene. You know, that's really cool, like a cyberpunk city scene. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a bunch of logos here, which is like weird. I don't know what that's about. I guess they're just logos. Um, And, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's see, wait. <laughs> uh, more, there's, like, some interesting, like, ships here. Different ships and whatever, like. It's just so, it looks like, you know, they basically, like, had an idea for what they wanted. And then they just sat down and drew, like, 50 of those and just basically try to make every painting, every picture, every sketch better than the last and try to improve it and improve it and improve it until like 50 revisions later, they're like, okay, it's done. You know, um, they just didn't like do one sketch and go, that's what it's gonna look like, you know, which is what mo most people would do. They're like, no, we gotta do 50 sketches and at the 50th sketch, that's what it's gonna look like. And is it gonna be better? Yeah, but it, it's gonna feel it's gonna lose the spontaneity, you know? Here's some more like interesting artwork of some interiors, ships and whatever. Um, I don't even know what some of these interiors are. They look like interiors or some kind of structures, but whatever. Let me see. Oh, here you go. Dun, 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 dun. That is cool. Some cool ships. Those ships are cool. You know, hey, it's sci-fi, so there's gotta be ships, laser guns, uh, space travel, all that sci-fi. Oh, check this out, look at these. All action at this point. Nice action scenes. I, I think they would have been cool to put more action scenes in this. They just give you like, they just kinda like, in this book, they kinda just gave you like, oh, this is what this looks like, and this is what that looks like. But do some like, you know, just an interesting composition because I just felt like every all the characters in, in this book were just standing there, you know, like okay, this is the armor and this is the suit and everything, but they're just standing there, you know, and it's just um, it'd be better if they you know, weren't just standing there, if they were like doing some kind of action, you know, some interesting here's like some interesting like another like Wookiee and an adventurer. 
dude with a bunch of robots. Like all kinds of sci-fi action going on. Let me see. Um, more action. There's that. That's like this. Um, yeah. Jesus, look at this one. <laughs> Big like space monster, and they're like they got. See, there's more action. It's like something happening in the composition of the story instead of just people standing around going this is what my uniform looks like you know yeah this is pretty cool this is definitely pretty cool um i like this uh the chaos symbol here except it's not eight-sided it's one two three it's six-sided the six-sided chaos symbol this was the chaos symbol except this eight arrows means chaos and that was done by michael moorcock back in the back in the day and I don't know if they like took it, took that symbol from him, but a lot of people took stuff from him. So yeah, so these, this is the art of Star Wars and the Old Republic, yeah. So yeah, what'd you think of that? Like, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and ring the bell if you wanna ring the bell or whatever that does. And I'll see you guys in another video later.